I'm uh, going on a little vacation. And I never go on vacation without these. Because you never know. Oh, I also always take this. It's a lifesaver and a metaphor for this. My glucagon emergency kit. You know, I know how to swim, but even the best swimmers sometimes get in over their heads. Well, that's where this comes in handy because you never know. Oh, gotta go. Hey, you can stop honking. I'm here. Oh, oh. hey. This is a cab, not a boat. Oh, no, this is just a, a metaphor for my emergency glucagon kit. Look at what? I have diabetes and I carry it for emergencies. I always have one with me when I travel. Why? That's a good question. First stop, my doctor. Dr. Wood, what exactly is glucagon? Glucagon is a medication that we use in people with diabetes when they're having a severe low blood glucose. And is it this, the, the stuff that you shoot in you, that's not, that's not sugar? No, and one of my former patients used to call it the glucose gun instead of glucagon. <laughs> but no, it's not glucose. It's a synthetic version of the natural hormone that our body makes. Can you demonstrate to me how, how this works? Sure. Do you want to do it with me? All right. The good thing about glucagon is that it's a very safe medication and you really cannot hurt somebody with glucagon. Even if you gave more than the recommended dose, for example, for a child, it's not going to hurt them. So the first thing that you do is you take the vial out and it has a, a disc of powder and you take the cap off. Take the syringe and take the cap off. Inject the liquid into the vial of powder and you want to mix. All right, you shake it up like that until the powder is completely dissolved and the liquid is back to clear. And then keeping the syringe back in the vial, you want to pull the liquid back into your syringe. And your dose will depend on your age and your body weight. Flick it a couple times to get your bubbles out and then inject the air back into the vial so you don't have the bubbles. You take it out and then it can be given under the skin or an emergency situation we recommend directly into the muscle because it's probably absorbed a little bit faster. Grab the skin gently like this, insert the, the needle all the way down to the hub and then inject. Ow. You'd count to three so that all of the liquid has a chance to leave the needle and then pull out. Okay, so you take that syringe and you mix it with that stuff and well, why don't you do it yourself? Uh, well, because I was passed out. My wife and my 10-year-old son found me on, on my bed in the middle of the afternoon and, and uh, my wife was completely freaked out and she couldn't figure out how to use this glucagon thing. And so my son, 10, looked at it and said, Mom, no, you do this and then you do this and then you squirt that in there and pull that out of there. And we put that in Dad. And um, eventually they both together held it against my leg and pushed and pushed. I'm not afraid of needles. Saved me from having to be revived by paramedics and, and saved me from who, who knows what else. It was the only time I've ever had to use that thing in 39 years, but I'm glad I had it. Train station. Thank you very much. Keep the change. Uh -huh. Hey, a uh, tip for you. Hmm? Don't forget your metaphor. Ah, ah, might save your life someday. Hope you never have to use it. Gotcha. See ya.